And before his sons came home, Yaakov sent two maidens from his servants' daughters to take care of Dina in the house of Shechem and to remain with her. And Shechem sent three of his friends to his father Hamor, the son of Shechedem, the son of Pered, saying, Get this young woman for me for a wife. And Hamor, the son of Shechedem, the Hivite, came to the house of his son Shechem. And he sat before him, and Hamor said to his son, Shechem, is there no woman among the daughters of your people that you will take a Hebrew woman who is not of your people? And Shechem said to him, Only her must you get for me, for she is delightful in my sight. And Hamor did according to the word of his son, for he was greatly beloved by him. And Hamor went out to Yaakov to commune with him concerning this matter. And when he had gone from the house of his son Shechem, before he came to Yaakov to speak to him, behold, the sons of Yaakov had come from the field as soon as they had heard the thing that Shechem, the son of Hamor, had done. And the men were very much grieved concerning their sister, and they all came home fired with anger before the time of gathering in their cattle. And they came and sat before their father, and they spoke to him kindled with wrath, saying, Surely death is due to this man and to his household, because the Lord God of the whole earth commanded Noah and his children that man will never rob nor commit adultery. 